Судя по заставке, это принцесса в огня с временем приключений. Characters. Season 3 finally explores Princess Bubblegum in an actually fascinating way. And while it has sparked debate with people who hate the character as a result, the introduction of Bonnie as a somewhat morally sketchy character is one of my favorite things to ever come out of the show. So many really great episodes like Goliath or Rattleball are all about этот эпизод приводил как пример вот в этой доминации было да там пытался унич в какие-то там пытался уничтожить то острый вот и после делаешь что хочешь а я пытался вот пример назад то эпизода да что взаимодействие хорошо сотрудничество потом хорошо объяснило flooring the things that she does to protect her people that also have unfortunate consequences um, but throughout these episodes, PB is never really confronted with these consequences herself. As she is able to continue seeing herself as only doing what is necessary, something that is eventually addressed in season six, episode twenty-two, the cooler. And that's what we're talking about today. In this video, we're going to go through. What is coincidentally also one of Flame Princess's best episodes in the series, and talk about how, through this really interesting look into the Fire Kingdom and its leader, we see Princess Bubblegum. Finally confronted about her. Princess Жвачка потом придумает какую-то жизнь, яка для Princess Вогня. Но так уж получится, что этот конфетный чалко создает создает Жвачка, но подружится за тем отцом злым и у него будет хотя бы хотя бы этот конфетный чувак бы курильство дочка себе забрала. Вот блин плохой лидер, но скинула. Dunked up moral system, um, as she takes the first step towards changing for the better. But how, through this really interesting look into the Fire Kingdom and its leader, we see Princess Bubblegum finally confronted about her junked up moral system as she takes the first step towards changing. Changing for the better. Development. I really like how they use it as an opportunity to show what Flame Princess is up to. And while she doesn't exactly develop in the quarter hour that is this episode, she certainly changed since we last saw her. This is by far the most mature version. And a Phoebe that we've ever seen. As we see her rule her kingdom with the authority and the care for her citizens, that's perhaps only matched by a character that we'll get to in a bit. First, though, we get to see the plight of the Fire Kingdom, which is some reverse global warming portrayed in three different hilarious ways. It's really fun here to get to see all of the different denizens of the kingdom, as well as the reintroduction of. 
and who would else do we have most Phoebe's family? who actually get to be fleshed out in this episode. While they only have a couple of lines each, and two-thirds of them are kind of just different types of dumb, I think it's really interesting how war-driven they portray Flame Princess's brother as, as he and how she doesn't exactly reject this idea. Well, this quick discussion of possible conflict doesn't exactly justify... What Princess Bubblegum is going to do in about four minutes, it does certainly explain why she might find it necessary, especially given that she is deeply aware of the inner workings of this kingdom. Skipping past why that is, since I deeply do not want to talk about the cinnamon bun in this episode, eventually the board meeting is cut by a cold breeze, which brings Flame Princess down in hue, highlighting just how desperate she is for anybody or anything that could help her save her kingdom. And just on cue, when Phoebe and her kingdom have been brought to their knees, none other than Bonnabelle Bubblegum shows up. And while FP referred to Bonnie, as an ally, Earlier in this episode, their initial conversation shows that she has no desire to be any friendlier than necessary, as their history of conflict leads her to reject Bonnie's pleasantries of trying to exchange first names or trying to relate over the shared struggle of ruling over dummies. As they walk through the Fire Kingdom, PB goes on and on about her Mondo meter, something that, while it does sound completely made up in retrospect, also just more or less sounds like regular Adventure Timey gibberish. This is also what eventually gives her a reason to go into the room that Phoebe describes as forbidden to outsiders, but she eventually relents anyway, clearly showing that she does value the well-being of her people over tradition, something that she's going to very quickly realize that she shares with Princess Bubblegum. Not not before she tells her about the sleeping fire Ну, <laughs> Which, while not exactly the catchiest tune that Adventure Time has ever put out, definitely has a pretty distinct vibe that I'm pretty... Штаб команда раз это мы трублются мы и все. Ну команда Рвин, ну неплохие ролики, но эм, ну как неплохие 
по американську, якщо вони плохі, по японським, що на експеримент Лей, що на Євангеліон, мені не особо понравилося, як ти не дуже, а от по американську він нормальний, ну, тільки один команда, так там мало вато буде. Є ще соди, для них не соди, них точні дітське. От тут цей ролик у нас серйозно тут обсуждає про управління жвачки, що вона буде ще, главне, не все робить хороші рішення, проводить там примір, от вона створила життя, що ж напасно їх прибила. Щоб що не дуже було показано, що воно опасне, щоб ми поняли, що це оправдано. Тобто, це, кажеться, неоправданим і спорним. І на це розглядає так цікаво. От на російському щось таке серйозне, не знаю, тільки командир і все. Так як так грустно. Я до кінок не би маленька, скільки 40 мільйонів. Я б говорила, що 40 мільйонів. Бать сюди до Ютуб, це ж професійно, всі ж будуть чоловіки робити. Всі більше ста і так мало ще на каналі. Ну ладно, може я просто якісь не знаю. Якісь ще є канали, но вони роблять рідко ролики, не дуже часто. Я фонд Having more of a spoken word approach that matches the chilling instrumental. Дети делают свои фильмы, они делают что-то типа трудности перевода, какие-то обзоры делали на Pixar, но только на фильмы, на сериалы не делали. Pretty well. A Kingdom from a Spark has the song is awkward. Делают обзоры, как бы какие-то трудности перевода, там что-то будет выглядеть, не выглядеть. The title really emphasizes how... Ну, мало. ...important these statues are to the people of the Fire Kingdom being their one hope in case of complete disaster, like the one they're currently facing. And while there is some really interesting... ...на канал дуже кожен мені попадалися обзори... ...та, на основному не робиш не так час. ...interesting flushing out of the history of the kingdom throughout this song, it's more than clear... ...це менше, чим з мені в англійському. ...that this tune is really just meant to highlight the importance of these giants, and in turn, the crime that PB is committing by disabling them one by one. There's this really interesting shot at the beginning of the scene when PB begins to listen to the song and questions what she is doing, only to come to the conclusion that it is ultimately necessary. Fortunately for Phoebe though, and honestly for the audience, the song doesn't last forever, as she pretty quickly realizes what PB is up to. And as you can probably guess, Bonnie's excuse of it's better for my kingdom doesn't exactly soothe Phoebe, as we get to see, once again, a fully pissed off flame princess. And for the first time in the series, without any kind of audience interpretation needed, Princess Bubblegum is entirely the villain in this situation. This is something that the episode does very intentionally through its initial focus on how good of a leader Phoebe is, making it so the audience really starts to sympathize with her struggle and making it so the audience starts to villainize the cause of it. And it's all of this that creates a fight where we have to watch this one episode where the characters are the two characters that we think are good. Princess of Wagner is shown in the series and it's good that the other characters are good. Watch our new protagonist be completely embarrassed. Great fight to show how, despite having a clear power advantage, the uncontrolled rage inside of Phoebe prevents her from ever really having a chance to overcome her opponent's gadgets. And she is tricked by PB to go even further than disabling the giants, as she permanently takes them out one by one. The dialogue during this section mostly contains PB trying to justify her actions. Words that are more directed towards herself. Вроді яка запит наближає, що буде ти типу опасним, як мову в Ітерії, ну а казано, що хороше, що зла контролюватися. Then towards Flame Princess. Obviously, the justification of... Та хороша принцеса, з нею був просто та спіна, що той конфлікт буде на зв'язком таким плохою, і з нею було просто навчитися, що нормально, що не, що, ну, і хороше, і не встав. People this way was never going to 
going to work to make Phoebe calm down. Я не астролог, до цього ж каналу я про неї, як вона з отцом. Meant to keep Bonnie convicted in her ways. Eventually, Bonnie douses FP to the point where the fight is all but over. To the dismay of Flame Princess, who presumably is going to just have to watch as the last giant is disabled in front of her. All while PB brags about how she caused the cold in the first place and another display of her genius. However, when PB reveals her source of information and defends her spying ways on the basis of she's always done it, Flame Princess finally gets through with this line. You're cold, PB. And it's not because you're a scientist or a leader. It's because you are a bad person. And it's this moment that finally he at least somewhat begins to break down Princess Bubblegum. Every other time that's somebody has even attempted to confront her over something she's done in the name of protecting her kingdom, she's able to dismiss it on the ground of the other party with no idea what it's like to rule over and try to protect citizens, something that Flame Princess actually does. At this point, PB tries to backpedal as much as she can, agreeing to let Flame Princess keep the last giant, but there's no way that she can go back and revert the damage that she's already done. In this episode, Princess Bubblegum has permanently destroyed a part of the Fire Kingdom's culture, but luckily for PB, Flame Princess is in no shape to try to get any kind of revenge, even choosing to share her first name with Bubblegum. На цьому аккаунті, власне, на аккаунті до мене бати знаків сліських каналів. Play of the type of relationships possible when you don't view every other kingdom's leader in terms of help. Мені рекомендували більше лента на англійському, бо коли дивишся на іншому аккаунті, на цьому сторону, навіть якщо там дивишся на стар... Так що ти ж дивишся на англійську, тобі так не рекомендує, бо вже алгоритми забиті, то що там на російському, на українському, на більшість на російському дивишся, і все одно рекомендує старе, а нове мало рекомендує. Тому от коли новий аккаунт це здаєш, то воно куди більше рекомендує щось новому, то мені порекомендували, коли новий кіт аккаунт створив багато різних англійських каналів, потім мультфільмами ще дивився, про фільми кіт рев'ю. Аналізи чисто персонажів рекомендували каналу такі места. Спокойно. Help slash hurt your people. Аналізи все, єдине, все, немножко впадає в пушку з того смисла, там не завжди фільми такі глибокі. Ну, ні, це дуже хороші. And it's after the reveal that Ice King was the one behind the cold season and a little bit of revenge from Frost and Fire that we get my favorite shot of the episode. As we see Flame Princess, who's being celebrated as the savior of her people, fading into Princess Bubblegum, standing in a dark room by herself and watching her people from afar. And as Bonnie thinks about whether or not this is what leadership really is, Виключити тут от камери слідження, типу, ой, вона її покритикувала, що ж не ділять неправильно, і це не є, типу, подійствувало. Taking advantage of whoever you need to in order to keep your citizens as hypothetically safe as possible, she eventually comes to the conclusion that all of her spying ways have just done her more harm than good, cutting all of the cameras, even if it means that she doesn't get to watch Finn and Jake recreate food chain as Princess Bubblegum starts the process of changing for the better. Можна Most of the remainder of this video is going to be spent talking about Princess Bubblegum, so to quickly justify the fact that I definitely put Flame Princess in this video's thumbnail, let's quickly talk about her in this episode. By the time the cooler comes around, it had been a while since we had seen FP in this capacity, and it's really interesting how they finally get her a story completely unrelated to Finn as she begins to fully develop into the leader of her kingdom, and not just as a love interest for the protagonist to bounce off of. The character development that we see in this episode is ultimately what creates the flame princess of her final few episodes. Тематичний таск фіно і принцеса, і так воно теж звання, що жвачка, то жвачка не може просто сказати, що ти не розумієш, то, що роблять, це необходимо. Це... Ти не принцеса, ти не розумієш, це необходимо, щоб захистити моїх граждан. 
Какое на то тоже звание, то можно сказать, не, разумею. И ручки на вейда катому плирвота. Это тоже наиболее мне повлияло. В принципе, ручки, конечно, плана плюсить не пацана, что но может как-то типа слушать сексуально адекватно. As we continue to see an immensely mature version of her character in her next main appearance in Bun Bun. In general, the cooler gives us one of my favorite looks of Phoebe, as we see a leader who is willing to make sacrifices for her people, such as asking Bonnie for help despite their feud, without resorting to hurting others in the process, shown through her rejecting her brother's proposal at the beginning of the episode to take out the Candy Kingdom for fuel. Getting back to Phoebe, though, this episode really begins what effectively becomes her arc for the second half of the series, as she is forced to confront her morally questionable actions without the ability to blame it on her desire to protect her people at all costs. And while this isn't the last time that Bonnie will have to learn this lesson, as she loses her kingdom as a result of being too focused on the big picture at the end of the season, this does mark the first time that she begins to realize that, as Flame Princess puts it, something inside of her is messed up. From this point on, almost every episode focusing on Princess Bubblegum is related to her struggle to find the right balance in protecting her citizens and respecting the privacy and boundaries of others, all while questioning what her hundreds of years of dedication to the kingdom has done to her throughout all that time, ultimately ending with her presumably handing over the keys to the kingdom by the time that together again rolls around. But none of this eventual character development would have been kicked off if not for FP's words in The Cooler. As, without somebody in the same position as Bonnie, showing her that leadership doesn't have to come with the continuous violation of others' trust and privacy, Bubblegum would have kept her old ways, and would have continued to burn the bridges with those around her. Anyway, that's about it for me. If you want to talk about how Princess Bubblegum is actually the real villain of Adventure Time in a way that's harder for me to ignore, you can find my Twitter in the description. But either way, this has been Apple Samuel, and I'll see you in about a week with a video that's somehow not about Steven Universe or Adventure Time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> суждение, ну, цитану, доль до интересно, че правильно, знамо, с тема стажа, то че неправильно. По-моему, Бэтмен был похоже, а вот там, кем на рыцарь, то по Бэтмен использовал информацию слежения за всема, чтобы не то Джокера, но, че что-то неправильно использовать только вот цей дынный раз. Вот это похоже, жвачка также использовать только, ну, чтобы не ты злодея, чтобы за всема стажа, то, ну, я на то, чтобы не ты кёсь. Что злодея закутил бы кумис на ВДД по курьевству, а что он пути что-то неправильно. Как мне пути на кукат, то камера, ну что я не знала, что он сказал. А за то, что батюшка мне то, что забрать, так что правильно понял, не мог курьевство. Ладно, посмотрели ролик, нормально, так и предсказка.